Armed with the mea culpa and the entirety of all Custodia's sin and the hilt of his sword, the penitent one committed the ultimate act of blasphemy and destroyed His Holiness Escobar. As he ascended the mountain of ash and reached the cradle of affliction, his acquisition of the fourth and secret holy wound of abnegation allowed him to see the truth beyond the veil. The penitent one's transgressions allowed him to traverse to the other side of the dream, where the high wills sat and watched their sadistic works from the path of eternal processions. Together with his new ally, Chrysanta of the Rapt Agony, the penitent one silenced the word that was the Supreme Trinity, and with it the grievous miracle that they had been controlling since the Father had silently accepted his twisted blessing. With the high wills dead, the miracle and everything it touched would also wither and die, but in the cycle of life and death, rebirth is often forgotten. The miracle would be born again, in a new form, but what horrors would it bring with it? Subscribe for more content like this and be sure to check out this video for a more detailed breakdown. And until next time, it's the Inhuman One signing out.